Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and my warehouse. Uh, we are pretty much loaded to capacity here right now. Not much room to move, but uh, we wanted to show you this uh, latest uh, find. Here we have um, International Mutoscopes 1950 Flying Saucers. Let's see a quick look at this uh, back glass. The back glass is original. And I think I would call this almost, uh, I would call it a perfect 10. There isn't a flake on it. Um, so we know this has been somewhat taken care of. Uh, it's all original paint. As is the coin mechanism. Uh, it's uh, orange now, but uh, it should have been red. It would have been a bright red in the 50s. And here we have the little decal. Uh, I believe it's a water slide or so. It says flying bean jet saucers. And we'll come around to the back over here. And that same detail is um, on the left and right side with uh, some little clouds on the upper half of the cabinet. Also on the top, what's missing is a, another uh, marquee. The marquee is a red marquee matching the same as the United States map there and it has that flying saucer uh, decal on it also. Um, in the back here, we'll take a look inside the machine, um, someone has spent some time putting it back together and uh, obviously rewiring some of the lights and as I've said before, uh, most of the time you're just better off replacing these things because they're so temperamental. Uh, it's just the bake light has shrunk over the years and the bulbs just, they're just not holding in there tight. But uh, these are, uh, this particular machine is uh, pretty sought after. Uh, if you have one of these things, uh, please give me a call. Um, this one uh, we had to pry from a, uh, a collector that uh, kind of cherished this machine and uh, finally uh, let it go. And uh, it's nice to uh, know that when someone says uh, the machine works, that uh, this machine actually did work. Um, it's kind of neat. One of the neat things, what the whole concept is, as we come around the front, is here you are uh, flying through the galaxy. You got this cool paddle here that you're gonna fly, kind of like a, like a rocket ship or something. And um, uh, there's one other uh, machine, and it's called Radar Rocket, that has the same paddle. So they're like sister machines to have. Um, and what you're doing is, I go left and right, you got this uh, original plastic spaceship there. And uh, I'm supposed to stay on this metal track. If you look really close, you can see there's another metal track there, and that was probably the original. And as you can see, it was made out of copper, and it was a, a fine line. So somewhere down the line, we're going to have to um, redo this drum and put a new plastic or maybe rivets or some sort so we can follow to get our points. Uh, the drum itself is energized. It's energized by its ground uh, there at the far left. And what is kind of neat, you're like, okay, so this thing spins around and all you do is just follow the line. Not exactly easy, but what they did is, if you look at the drum itself, it's being driven by this wheel. And the drum is not flat and it's spring loaded. So the drum moves left to right. When you, when you think that you, you, you got it, it kind of throws you off because of that uh, two... If you can see, there's two of them, two big warps in the metal that push the drum over to the side. It's a timed game, so there's your little time mechanism. But uh, overall, uh, it's uh, good to see that every light's on, um, all the parts are here, and it's just pretty much uh, revamping this whole thing, detailing everything, changing all these light bulbs, the drum, and uh, we'll, this game will... Um, be back in full play. I can see this handle being nickel plated and a nickel plated uh, uh, coin mechanism. So I'm going to try to play this game. It's got this cool light here and that light tells you uh, that you're on track. So let's see if I can do this. There we go. All right. 
every time you hear that bell on the screen, uh, it's hard to look at the screen at the same time. All right, every time you hear that bell, it's I'm going over to another state. So, like I said, if you look at this drum, and I'm trying to follow this. Well, I'm gonna, let me get another nickel. We'll give that another whirl. Back here, I could just do a quick free play. If you watch this drum, It's hard enough to follow to follow it, then let alone trying to to accommodate that little bump out that it does twice in, in a rotation. Whoa! And this piece of metal that I'm riding on is quite larger than what was there. Uh, the original was a probably a quarter inch piece of uh, copper wire that was attached to the drum. Now, I, you can, as you can see, I'm driving on a probably a three-eighths piece of metal. There you have it. International Mutoscope Flying Saucers. If you have this machine for sale, uh, or you're interested in this one, or you need one restored, please give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see all the new machines coming to the warehouse. Thanks for watching.